Stage Actions and Completion Actions are marketing cloud account engagement features that allow you to take specific actions in response to customer interactions with your email, forms or landing pages. Page Actions and Completion Actions can help streamline your marketing efforts, ensuring that customers have a consistent experience that is tailored to your brand. In this video, we'll explain how completion and page actions work in account engagement and show you an example of how you can add completion actions and page actions to your lead capture process. Completion actions are automation tools that you can embed in marketing assets, such as forms or emails. These actions are triggered when prospects engage with these marketing assets. Completion actions are versatile and can automate basic tasks for your team. For example, you can adjust a prospect's lead score when they click on an email. You can add them to a campaign or list when they submit a form. You can tag them when they download a PDF. Here are a few additional considerations to keep in mind. Completion actions are triggered when a prospect takes a specific action. They can be standard, meaning they apply to all prospects equally. Or they can be conditional, meaning they apply to prospects based on specific criteria such as when the prospect's country or product interest is included. They can be applied multiple times daily and apply only to activities that take place after you set them up. They do not apply retroactively. Keep in mind that completion actions only run for prospects in your database, not visitors. Page actions are a specific type of completion action. Page actions are completion actions triggered by a prospect's visit to a specific page of your choosing. Like completion actions, page actions have many uses. For example, you can personalize content by displaying products that are related to the one a prospect clicked in your email, send a follow-up email when a user abandons a shopping cart, enroll prospects into a lead nurturing campaign based on their behavior on your website, you can apply page actions to any page that contains your tracking code. Account engagement matches the most specific page action first. If a page action for a specific URL doesn't exist, account engagement next attempts to match on a set of pages using wildcards. So it will first trigger on the more specific URL, as shown in the example here, instead of the broader URL. Page actions run every time they are triggered and can be triggered one time for each prospect each hour. They do not run retroactively. And you can analyze both completion and page actions to help you understand how prospects and customers interact with your marketing content. Let's see an example of how completion and page actions can work together to improve your lead capture process. View a lead capture form that captures the prospect's email address. Add a completion action to send an autoresponder email directing the customer to a landing page with a how-to video. Add a page action to a video landing page that adds prospects to a nurture list. We'll start this demo in the content tab of account engagement. I have a lead capture form that I already set up open. If a prospect fills out this form, we want to send them an autoresponder, prompting them to visit a web page. I'm focusing on the completion action section, which is step four in our form down at the bottom of the page. For action, I'll select send autoresponder email from the dropdown. Then I'll select a template, which I previously published. I'll select the product how to video template. This completion action will apply to all prospects. So I do not need to add the conditional group. Select next to save our form. Next, we'll set up our page completion action on the how-to video landing page we're sending them to with our autoresponder. Navigate to the Automations tab in the Account Engagement app. I'll click on the Page Actions tab on the left. Now I can click the Add Page Action button to bring up the Create Page Action interface. For name, we'll use in Widget How-To Video. For page URL, we'll use the URL for that landing page. We'll set the completion action here. We'll select the Add to List option. For List, I'll select Widget Leads. 
This is a pre-built segmentation static list that I've built for my widget nurture campaign. I'll finish by selecting Create Page Action. Now you can see how simple it is to set up completion and page actions. So, there you have it. Use page actions and completion actions to help streamline your marketing efforts, allowing your team to create a tailored experience for customer prospects. For more information, check out page actions and completion actions in Salesforce Help, or visit us on the trail in Trailhead. Thanks for watching.